let's talk about dev. Now you may be wondering, why are we talking about dev, Jimmy? This is a course about confidence and self-esteem. You are supposed to help me be more positive, right? You're supposed to help me to improve my self-image, feel better about myself, manage crisis in a more powerful way. Now here's the thing, a lot of people when they think about dev, they just focus on the negative, right? And think about it, right? When you hear the word dev, what comes to your mind? A lot of people think, ah, oh, dev. I don't want to die. I don't want my family members to die. Death is a terrible thing. Oh my God. But you can use death as a tool, right? Rather than looking at it in a negative way and being constantly afraid of dying, you can actually use it as a tool for building your confidence and your self-esteem. And you may be wondering, so what is the relation? How does that even connect to confidence? But here's the thing. A lot of us go through life just overly preoccupying ourselves, what other people may think about us. It's almost like you wake up in the morning, you go into different situations of life, you kind of look around hoping, oh, I, I, I hope I'm gonna get approval and validation, I hope that those people will like me. But the reality is that, you know, those other people are also pre preoccupied with what you will think about them. Right? So everyone is insecure to some extent, everyone has some insecurities, but a lot of us think way too much about what other people may think about us. We preoccupy ourselves with the judgment of other people, not realizing that we are squandering the limited time that we have on this planet. And from my own experience, I can tell you that the moment I started realizing how fragile we are. I had all types of situations in my life, some really nasty situations where, you know, I, I, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna make it too dramatic that I looked death in the face, but I certainly had some encounters with death, right? Whether it's, you know, obviously everyone can resonate, family members dying, or even myself getting in dangerous situations like snowstorm in Himalayas or situations like that. And I know how it feels when you literally, you're thinking about your life and you realize, oh, I am immortal. I'm not gonna live forever. This may end very soon. And when you ponder on this, when you, when you really ponder on death, when you start using it as a tool, when you start consciously realizing how short your life is, you wanna make the most of it. And that gives you that extra push not to care too much about the opinions of other people. Now. Shouldn't you care about any opinions? Of course not, right? Uh, yes, you should care about what your family members think, what your best friends think. You should take their opinions into account, but you should never preoccupy yourself with the opinions of other people, especially those who don't even know you, right? The judgment of people who don't even know who you are. And so many of us are, are stuck in our heads and you know we have to do that Zoom call or you need to make a video, or you have to deliver a presentation, or you, you, you wanna to talk to your team members on, on Skype, or you're about to meet that person, that, that you're gonna you're gonna meet them for the first time, you want them to like you, and you are stuck in your head and you are constantly preoccupying yourself. What if that person will reject me? What if those people will not like me? What if I do that Zoom call and when it's my time to speak, all those people will think that I'm a failure. What if I don't look good enough? What if I don't sound good enough? What if I'm not worthy of appreciation and love? What if I'm not good enough? And a lot of us get stuck with this negative internal dialogue of I'm not good enough. I hope other people will accept me. But the paradox is that when you're constantly looking for approval and validation of other people, it's very hard to get it probably notice that people who get the most respect, most validation, more approve, most approval, are the people who don't seek it. They just don't seek it. It's a paradox, right? It's like kind of like the dog chasing its own tail. If you chase your own tail, you probably won't get it, right? So if you chase validation and approval, you don't get a lot of it. So, so you gotta stop doing that. And again, thinking about death and realizing that life is short. Actually, do a little calculation, calculate roughly how many days you have left on this planet, right? Just, just Google the life expectancy and you know, adjust it based on what you know about yourself, your, your medical history and, and, and your age and everything, and, and, and just calculate how many days you have left on this planet. And then consider all the potential scenarios, right? I mean, th th there could be accidents. 
there could be diseases. So you may not have as much time as you think you have. Now, again, I don't mean to be negative here. What I mean to do here is to point out how important every single minute of your life is. And you shouldn't waste even, even a minute of your time worrying about what other people may think about you, worrying about the judgment of other people. You know, myself, I, I make those videos. I, I, I do a lot of things in the public eye, let's say, right? Getting on stages. I, I've been hosting stages. I do online events. I, I do all types of different things amongst those, those online courses. And there is judgment. Some people don't like what I do. You know, recently I published an interview with this famous biologist called Bruce Lipton. Maybe you know him, very famous, tremendous person. And my editors added some music to that interview, right? There's like 17 minute snippet on YouTube, got like probably by now a couple of hundred thousand views, went viral. And a lot of people said, oh, the video is great, but we hate the music. Why would you put the music? And some people were really militant about it, right? Why would you even consider putting the music? But then on the flip side, I have clips without music where some people said, yeah, it's boring. You should have put some music in there. Guess what? You will never please everyone. And you know, this is a good example because no matter what you do with your life, you will never please everyone. And if you try to please everyone, well, that's a sure path to failure. You can never do it. So again, seeking validation and approval of all the people around you, right? Being afraid of all the judgment, is futile. It, it's just impossible to attain that state where no one judges you. People will judge you no matter what you do. Some people will not like you. Some people will not appreciate you. Hey, some people may, may even hate you. And there's no real reason for that. Some people may just not like the way you sound or the way your face looks like. That's just human nature. And you gotta accept it. And I feel like the sooner you accept it, the better, the better, right? You have freedom of living your life on your terms freedom of expressing yourself fully, of being yourself. But again, to do that, you gotta use some powerful tools. And one of them is pondering on, on death, thinking about death, thinking about your own mortality, okay? So it's, it's a bit different video than what you probably expected, but I hope that you found it useful, especially in those times of crisis, right? You may be on a lockdown right now. You may be in a little flat, Maybe you are alone and, and you're very lonely right now. Or maybe you are with a huge family in a tiny flat and you're getting on each other's nerves, right? And you feel like, oh, when will this end? And maybe you are wasting a lot of time just worrying and, and, uh, and also thinking about what other people may think about you. And maybe you are being held back in different situations in life when you want to take that step. Again, as I said, you want to do that Zoom call or you, know, you want to get that job and, and you want to apply for that for that opportunity and something is holding you back because you're afraid of the judgment don't be afraid of that life is too short for you to be afraid of that go after it embrace it you know realize that you are who you are you are unique and the uniqueness about you th this is what makes you special this is what makes you you so fully embrace it own it own your insecurities own your weaknesses own everything love yourself, appreciate yourself, and just go after whatever it is that you want, okay? Hope you like this video. Let me know what you think. Post a discussion. If you have any questions or you want more of those types of bonus videos, do let me know, and I'm gonna do my best to update this course. Have a great day, and I'm gonna catch you soon.